I'm now going to demonstrate a glute release and a piriformis release with, uh, if you have a myofascial trigger point release ball, excellent. Uh, if not, a hard ball such as a, a lacrosse ball uh, will do the trick. Uh, most physical therapy clinics uh, carry such items uh, for purchase. Um, we're going to take that ball and we're going to place it into the musculature in uh, the buttock. And you're going to kind of roll it around until you find your tender spot. And when you find your tender spot, you're going to put deep pressure to it. And what I like to do is incorporate a little muscle energy technique by pivoting the hip in and out when I found that tender spot. So I'm rolling the hip in and out, and then I move the ball around until I maintain that tender spot, until I feel that that tender spot starts to relieve. I'm now going to demonstrate a couple common exercises uh, uh, that I'd like to incorporate to, together uh, to provide some uh, uh, stretching and myofascial release. Um, of the uh, low back, uh, glutes, and hip flexor area. Uh, it's a combination of exercise you'll see commonly uh, in some yoga poses with some slight modifications. So what I like to do is to go from four point kneeling into child's pose with the legs wide, nice and deep. And you can hold this exercise for as long as you like. Nice deep breath in and relaxing out. Let everything relax down. I then transfer from this position up and I bring my foot in front of my left knee and I gently roll out onto my hip in an upright position and then I lean down. And you're going to feel this stretch uh, through here and of course through the lower back. And then lean again, same thing, hold for as long as you like. 20, 30 seconds, some people hold the poses for two or three minutes. It's uh, your personal preference. Nice and easy. And then transfer from this stretch, leaning back onto the elbow, leaning back, and then reaching back, feeling this stretch deep through here into your hip flexor. You'll see that my right leg is holding my left hip in an extended position and I'm leaning back nice and easy, holding the position and then walking back in the reverse, upright, down. Again, feeling the stretch in the glute and the lower back and then transferring out of this position back into child's pose. and then doing the exact opposite on the other side. Rotating the hip up, the foot in front of the knee, rotating the hip out so that you're sitting flat. You might find when you initially start these exercises that you can't get in this position, this position because you're tight, and that's fine. Uh, you go as far as your body will allow you to comfortably get. You're up nice and upright, and then down. And then up and then transitioning back, leaning back, feeling the stretch, comfortable, strong stretch through the front, nice, easy breathing. And then coming back, upright, and then back in the child's pose.